So what we have here, some meat that I've took out of the freezer. Pheasant and air. And what we do with this, we make some game burgers. So all I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna chop it all up into one inch cubes. And I'll go through mincer nice and easy. So you can see what I've been beavering away. It's pheasant and air in there. There's a couple of air legs now. We'll get these chopped up. And it's time to get through the grinder. It's a good way of using up excess meat that you got in the freezer. All you want to do is cut them into like inch long pieces really, inch cube pieces. Meat wants to be frozen, that way I'll go through mince it a lot easier as well. That's what I've got here, got some chopped onion, got some bacon because I want that fat, breadcrumbs, salt and pepper, chilli flakes, Here's my selection of meat all cut up. Air and pheasant, a mixture there. Add some air, back straps, uh, big leg, front leg, uh, some pheasant breast and some pheasant legs. So it's a combination of everything. It's time to get these all mixed together. So that's first grind through mincer, don't look too bad, first time using one, first attempt, what I'm going to do now, I'm add this onion, some ingredients, some breadcrumbs, I'll put it through mincer again and get a real fine mince on it and get all them ingredients mixed together. Put some salt, some salt in there, there's a bit of bacon in there. Quite a bit of salt, some ground pepper, plenty of pepper, a little pepper in my things, breadcrumbs. So I reckon there's a couple of pounds of meat in there. A bit more of that in. It's about half of that, so. 75 grams, yeah. Get some chili flakes, get a little bit of kick. It's quite a lot, actually. I'm a bit carried away now. What I think to do now, get your hands in there, chuck this onion in, it, break it up a little bit. I don't want that to go through mincer. All these ingredients to get like evenly distributed. What this is, this is a precursor for making sausages. So let's get this part of things right. And then I've got some hog skins on way. I've got a couple of freezers full of meat to be honest with you. This is a really, really good way. I'll put it to different uses. Idea is not everybody's like us, not everybody eats wild game. So I'm thinking if you turn it into burgers, turn it into sausages, especially for kids and other people that are willing to get a go, it might be a good way of sort of introducing them. It's a wild game meat really. It's a really good mix. I've got mincer, 
sausage maker for a Christmas present. One of one for a while. I've got myself a burger press. I can get sausage skins when I want them. My brother's a butcher. I have ordered these ones. I've ordered some hog skins because they're a little bit easier for a beginner to start with because skin is a bit thicker. So you're gonna have less breakages and stuff like that. Now, let's get mushed together a bit. I'll show you that. There we go. It's looking good. All these onions are gonna get minced up. And spread throughout this. Put a bit of bacon in. What I'll do for its sausage is I'll get some uh, belly pork or some bacon fat or some, yeah, bacon fat and that'll add that bit more fat and flavour. There's some fat in here or pheasant. Won't be much of uh, air because it's quite a lean animal. There should be enough in here, should be a good mix and a good ratio. So that's what it's looking like. Let's get back through that mince now. Put a different attachment on so it should get it nice and fine. Let's whack it in. So let's go again. Get some of this meat in there first. I'll get it going. Get some of the blades to be turning against. Here's after the second grind. I think it looked better after the first, but at least all the ingredients are mixed together. So this is next day. Mixture's been in the fridge overnight. All I'm doing now, I decided to do a little meatloaf. Watch Steve Ranella, one of his videos, and he did meatloaf, meatballs, and burgers. Out of uh, game meat, he got it freezer, so I thought I'd do the same thing. So here's me uh, meatloaf mix. Now I've cut sound out because we've got visitors in the house this morning and there's a lot of background noise, so little bits of video on I'll have strategic voiceovers, so I cut that noise out. Just press it down firmly, not too firm. I've got oven preheated on 200 degrees. You know, what I'll do is I'll, I'll whack this in, turn it down to 150 and get about an hour and 15 minutes and that should be cooked all the way through nice and perfect. You don't want to pat it down too hard because you want to be able to get it out. So just seal it around with edges, it'll shrink anyhow. There's my new burger press. It's only a basic one, but it does the job fine. So all you do is get some mixture, roll it into like a meatball. Then what you want is you want some burger like skins, some grease proof rounds. I've ordered them, they haven't come yet, I've just realised here. So I'm making do with a bit of tin foil. Just put it in, press it down, and that way you can get your actual burger out a lot easier. I think you end up making about half a dozen burgers. I don't show you all footage, I'll just show you one one or two. There you go, look at that, perfect. Even got lines in it, looks like a shop bought burger. So I'll crack on, do a few more of these. Same procedure. Roll it up, size of a meatball, 
Obviously, just judging this by sight, but it's pretty easy. Burger press is a quarter pounder, so a nice, thick, chunky burgers. There's my daughter floating about in the background. A little wave for you all. Press it down. And just carefully peel it away. Keep integrity at burger on. That's another one done. Easy as that. So here's a few burgers. A little meatball. Didn't have quite enough to make another burger. So what is it here? Six burgers. A meatball. And I've got meatloaf in the oven. There's meatloaf cooking away. We'll get about an hour. That should be good to eat. Alright, so let's get a couple of these delicious burgers. Look at them. Looking pretty cool. Get another one in there. Yum, yum. So here's burgers cooking away. And meatball. The meatballs are good well. So we have spaghetti bolognese. Keep flipping them. Make sure they cook all the way through, cook nice and even. They get a nice char on each side at burger and meatball. So, some rough cut bread, buttered it. Time to get burgers out. It's an half pound uh, burger sandwich. Don't do things in halves, or do in this instance. And a meatball. It's around about dinner time at this point, so I'm ready for my dinner. Some French mustard. I do have English mustard, but this was just a squeezy one, so it's the easiest one to go to. Got a nice liberal dosage of that on. Let's get tucked in. That's what it is. Plenty of mustard on there. A couple of nice slices of bread. Chopped meatball in half just to make sure it cooks all the way through. As you can see, it's nice and moist. Cook perfect. Now it's time to tuck in. Start with meatball. A little smell. Got some chilli flakes in there. Some ground black pepper. Some salt. Onion. Quite pleased with that, you can tell. I'll be making them meatballs again. Be showing off my club, Sheffield Wednesday. Let's get tucked into the sandwich. Look at that. It'd be nice to have some bread cakes in. The missus is slacking, so I had to do the uh, uncut bread. You can tell by my expressions. Really, really nice. Still got four of these in the fridge. They'll be uh, probably tomorrow morning's breakfast. Share a couple with lad. He likes to tuck in with stuff like this. Really pleased with that mincer. Next thing on agenda. Now I've tried this out and uh, got used to the machine. Is to make some game sausages. So you have to wait for that video. I might make a batch first and uh, perfect it a little bit before I make an arse of myself on camera. But really, really good. Alright, so this meatloaf's been in about an hour and quarter. Time to get it out. There's no exact science with this. It's always rough guesses with me when I'm cooking. You can usually tell just by having a quick look. Now I shared a piece of this with brother-in-law. He nipped up about an hour later. He was my guinea pig. He loved it. Look 
at that. That is looking absolutely fantastic. That's a meatloaf. I don't be for my tea, since I've already eaten them burgers. And that's exactly what I did. Had two pieces for my tea. Give the last one to the dog. Give me a little treat. As ever, thanks for watching. See you next video.